Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me. For me, anyway, guys, it's October 23rd, Sunday, 2022. It's about 1.17 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak. Just got home from an amazing service today, guys. It was, uh, I'll tell you, God uh, God just blows my mind. He never ceases to, never fails to amaze me, guys. It's just, uh, just a beautiful day of prayer, praise, worship, glorifying God, healing, prayer, unity. Um, and I thank God when I got to church, I, I forget what the word I wrote down in my, my note. I like taking notes on Sundays. I, yeah, I know that sounds strange. But uh, anyway, uh, I think I wrote down camaraderie or we are family. And uh, that's just what happened. The Holy Spirit just took over today. Did uh, today's message line up with what the pastor thought she was going to preach? Absolutely. No, it did not. Was she disappointed? Not one bit. Our pastor loves it when the Holy Spirit takes over. It's all about God and giving him glory anyway. But guys, thank you for joining me as we continue this daily devotional. It's Again, it's a stand strong, um, 365 devotions. I'm going to rephrase it for everybody by everybody. It says for man by man, but anybody following me knows that Genesis 1, 26 and 27 will clearly straighten that out for, out of our daily bread. And going right along with today's theme, you know, it's a family and oh my. Uh, the, the title today's de uh, devotional is Benefits of Friendship. Benefits of Friendship and our study scriptures today, folks. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. And it's not a coincidence. I don't believe that at all. But that's the same scriptures that we use on Friday nights for Celebrate Recovery. We're, we'll get into that, I'm sure. And our lead off verse is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. And the word of God says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Dennis Fisher, our author today, writes this. Cicero was one of the greatest thinkers of the Roman Empire. He was a skilled orator, lawyer, politician, linguist, and writer. Still today, he is quoted for his clear prose and practical wisdom. For instance, regarding friends, he wrote this. Friendship improves happiness and abates misery by the doubling of our joy and the dividing of our grief. That can definitely be backed up by the word of God. He understood the double benefits of friendship along life's journey. Nearly a millennium earlier, King Solomon had also written about the value of friends. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can't help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Certainly a life without friends makes our sojourn, uh, our sojourn, uh, sojourn lonely and more difficult. Cicero and Solomon were right. Friends are important. Friends serve as confidants, counselors, and burden sharers. God tells us to bury, carry one another's burdens. Um, why not seek out one of your friends for fellowship this week? Remember, two are better than one because a friend can double our joy and divide our grief. Amen. Guys, that's definitely backed up by the word of God. You know, bear one another's burdens. Um, and this, uh, you know, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, it's, it's kind of, special to me because the Lord put that on me months ago, uh, this group that we do on Friday night, celebrate recovery. You know, we talk about going through this life and all the heartaches and, and trials and tribulations we face. Yes. We know that God will never leave us for forsake us. And that's awesome. But God's the one telling us, get yourself a friend, get you somebody walk, walk alongside with you third through this journey, bear each other's burdens carry you share the joy with one another word of god says if someone weeps weep with them if someone joy, rejoices rejoice with them that's god's words he, he wants us god loves community he loves companionship the guy there man there is a ton of scripture that'll back this up i mean starting all the way back in genesis god says it's not good for man to be alone let me find him a suitable companion a, a, you know someone to be alongside of him and we know he created Eve and adam you know to, to be fruitful and multiply the earth but I truly believe the main purpose was for companionship, for fellowship, for unity. I know it was. I mean, people might disagree with me, but that's what the Lord's put on me. He's been pounding that on me ever since I woke up this morning. A couple of other devotionals I read, it just verified the importance of, uh, of companionship, fellowship, 
and finding someone to walk through this journey with, you know, someone that can pick you up, someone that you can pick up and keep each other warm. And, you know, it goes on to say in a triple braided cord is not easily broken. And I've heard people say, well, that third person in that cord is the Holy Spirit. It's God. It's Jesus. That's fine, guys. I agree with that 100 percent that God is always with us. But if you have a third person, a third brother or sister that you're walking through, you just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, guys, I just love this one personally. You know, just think about, you know, get along with God and uh, have him reveal to you. Maybe there's a friend, a long lost friend that you think about. You think about him very, very often, but you haven't reached out to him. Guys, I, I, I can almost promise you that when God puts somebody on your heart, that's conviction to pick up the phone or drive over and visit, knock on their. I prefer that you call ahead. A lot of people don't like surprise visits. But if God has put somebody on your heart that you have not talked to or heard from in a while, be, be a stronger person. Stand up and reach out to that person. You may contact them at the very exact moment they need to hear from you. But, you know, lift each other up, strengthen one another, get together and, you know, but make sure it's all about glorifying God. Lift up the name of Jesus, no matter where you're at. Yeah, I know we're going to talk. We're going to catch and reminisce on old times. That's. Yeah, I almost going to leave that one alone, guys, because I could take I could take the past. I could leave it. I could just leave it. I'm, I'm more focused on the right now and glorifying God and whatever he would call us to do. But I understand we like to reminisce and catch up on old times. That's fine. We'll tie Jesus in with that. Because I know for me personally, my past and my reminiscing, I, I never once mentioned the name of Jesus that wasn't in vain, you know, was not in vain. But uh, just glorifying God no matter what, you know. And to do it with a brother or a sister in Christ, it says uh, there's a good return for our labor. So if you're doing this with somebody, you're, you're building each other up, there's going to be a good return for your labor. And it could be carnally in this time. You could take this one spiritually or physically. I truly believe that, guys, because God wants to take care of his children. He wants us to join together. He wants us to bring this body back together as one. Again, different parts, different functions. But to come together as a body of Christ. And we got to do that by putting aside our differences and this, uh, just being there for one another, supporting and strengthening one another. Can't fix one another. We say this every Friday night, celebrate recovery. We can't fix one another, but we can support one another. And that's, uh, you know, we know that God's our only healer in all things, you know, physical, spiritual. But, uh, yeah, the benefits of friendship, awesome title, awesome scriptures, verses, awesome studies. So, guys, just thank you for joining me. Please get alone with God, pray, meditate, read these study scriptures, have him speak directly to you. Maybe there's that person and he may put you on somebody's heart and you may just get that phone call here in the next day or two. Somebody's been thinking about you. Get together, have a cup of coffee, talk about it, read some scriptures, just pray together and let, let the Lord take it from there. So guys, until tomorrow on Monday the 24th, I pray you have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.